Hello, folks. This is uh, Bubba, Jewish Redneck Prepper. And here today, we're over here in Washington County, and we're heading near the ghost town of Oconee, Georgia. That's right. Look at this <laughs> town down here. There ain't no people, no bristling, no railroads coming through here, but look at those railroad ties they pulled up and everything. And uh, railroad beams and everything. You can tell there's no railroad town. Coney don't even have its uh, depot anymore. But look at these old stores here run down that's no longer in business. And I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Look at these old uh, ghost towns. These old beautiful buildings here. Can you imagine what it once was like here in these old ghost towns? Here. Step on this porch and see if we can get the view the inside of this. So ghost town still got some of the old stuff. Got bars on it, got bottles, old store bottles and everything. This old store here. It's got had some benches out here at the time when the people sit here in this old stores and stuff. Look at this old beautiful building here. I can remember, remember the day. This probably this town was a small little bustling town back in the day. Here, get back here and get a good shot of these old big stores. This white store here, this white building looks like this. Somebody's been painted hit recently and uh, been keeping it up. Look at that old Spanish moss over there. That old tree right there. Folks, that's a, that's a southern thing here, that Spanish moss. And that Spanish moss right there, as a wild thing, Spanish moss has been used as pillow stuffing, mattress stuffing, and that's usable in a salvation, I mean in a, in a way that you have to live in the wild. And here we go, we got us another old store here. Right here. It looks like that. This store is on the run down here. A lot of these stores down here don't even have a have any more names on them or no signs that said who the proprietor or anything was. But there's old stores. Sit down here that's going back downtown. But this is the old business district. And you can tell that had a top floor. That might have been the either the living quarters where the proprietor and maybe his family lived at. Let's see if we can get anything on this door here. This guy says something on the door here it says oh it's so old I can't make it out it says merchant I can't see it says something merchant can't make it out but you know like on this old store here the other one down there had bars on window too and now here we see we got the post office here of uh, Oconee. Now you know this is a more modern, modern uh, building and stuff. We don't know how many uh, other buildings may have been here at the time, but they still look like they might be running this old post office here in Oconee. But just look at them. Old buildings of ghost town. You know there's been some history here in this town. I'm going go on down here and uh, look here. And we can tell here, got 102 here. That must have had been an address or something. But you could tell, you look at this column here, this had to be 
an old service station that was here at one time, one point in time, and stuff. Uh, you see the old gas pump stands, where the gas pump was. That's probably, you can see they still got electrical wire where old gas pump used to sit. That probably was a old gas station, maybe a garage and stuff. You can still see all the brick and everything. And uh, I've been coming down here through years, but I, I, this is the first time I've ever videotaped this with Ghost Town. Here. Here we got a more, another one, more convenient gas station here. It's probably been closed for some years now. You see these old pumps, they look like they probably come back from the 70s and everything. But you can tell even, oh yeah, you can tell it's been a while because up here, it's, um, it was called Mac E's General Store. And you can see these old gas pumps here. There have been people mess with them and everything like that. But back in the day, take over to the sign here. Unleaded gas, $3.69. So you know this had to be uh, a few few years back. And this was self serve. Let's see if I get, the, get this on this old sign here. $3.69, folks. I remember filling up yesterday and only paid like uh, maybe. Two dollars and twenty-three cents from gas. Gas has come down considerably since then. Let's just see if we can get a shot of what's in this little general store here. And still see, you got some shells here, and got a couple of rockers here. I wouldn't mind having them rockers. Those are some nice-looking rockers. Yeah, I've still got counters. Look like got a hot dog container and everything. Probably wouldn't take much to put this old thing back in business. We got American flags sitting there, and people uh, put their business cards here and everything. From Washington County and uh, all this stuff. Well, look, I'm gonna get on my car and we're gonna ride up the road. And there's a few more stuff that we can see here in this ghost town and, and uh, my wife's waiting on me and let's let's go see what all else we can find here in a coney Hey folks, say hey. Hey, hey. Okay. Oh, see here. Uh, before we take off, I'm going to put my seat back. Please, baby. You know, I always have trouble. Uh, we good. Up to the right. And hey, folks, this is old railroad town of Coney, Georgia. It's, people still live here in this town, but as you can see, back in the day, the businesses and all that is about dead. And here's a there's an old house here. There, no well, state market, a health care center up there. More old houses down here in Oconee. People not living in them. I'm trying to see if we can find the school. If folks still live here.
this is Bubba, the Jewish Dad of Redneck Road. If uh, you enjoyed my videos, please like, subscribe, and uh, please share my videos. So, folks, we're uh, living out of uh, Loconi Ghost Town. And, um, if, I, let me urge you to join my YouTube like, Jewish Redneck Road. And, uh, join my Facebook page. Divers for prepping and survival. And my friends and loved ones, until next time, this is Bubba saying shalom.